Guys, Corey here with Android Community, and as you can see here, we have a little bit of a Nexus and Sound and Mod Love here. And what this is, is the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. And uh, today, the Sound and Mod crew has just released, uh, you know, Sound and Mod 10.1, which is Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, the absolute latest uh, version of Jelly Bean for the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. The big deal here is Verizon hasn't updated the Nexus. Uh, we're what on gingerbread? <laughs> Not really, but Verizon, as we all know, is extremely slow on the updates, and so Sanjin Mod has came to the rescue as usual and updated the, uh, the the Galaxy Nexus here. So everyone on Verizon can go ahead and get some of that love now as well. And some of that love, I mean, obviously, you guys should know plenty about Android 4.2.1 uh, you know, Jelly Bean, but uh, there's the uh, you know, Google Now. There's uh, you know enhanced notifications and expandable notifications. You have the Photosphere camera, and then you have, as you can see here, these lock screen widgets and uh, what have you. As you come in here to the lock screen, you can come over to you know Google Now and anything else right here on your lock screen, or just slide right over and instantly get to that new camera application in Android 4.2 uh, Jelly Bean. And then obviously we can come down here and go to Photosphere. If you used or seen Photosphere, it's an awesome feature. I'm taking those 360 and more panorama photos. But really quickly here, I mean, there's tons to go through with Sound Engine Mod um, itself. So instead of going through a lot of that, obviously we have the Google Now. Go ahead and swipe up from the top for your Google Now. Um, everything is here and included um, from Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. And then obviously Sound Engine Mod adds a lot more. So I'm not going to go through a lot of those features like the, uh, you know, the circle widgets or the circle battery meters and all that. That's all custom Android. The point here is, since Verizon's slow on updating, you can get the latest 4.2.1 Jelly Bean thanks to a custom ROM here from Sound and Mod and, and plenty of others. But today they actually released it for the Galaxy Nexus, um, the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, uh, as known as Toro. So go ahead and go down here to About Phone and uh, Galaxy Nexus. As you see me slide down, you see that Verizon Wireless on the bottom. I'm clearly running the Verizon Galaxy Nexus with our favorite Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. And uh, just uh, another quick thing here, you can, you can pull down here, and as usual we have the notifications that we're for the most part used to, and then obviously the new quick settings feature in the notification bar gives you some things, and then uh, with the Sound and Mod you can customize that and add you know, the, the flashlight and, and tweak all this. So that's all not you know, changeable with stock Android, but thanks to Sound Dramatic it is. So as usual, you can pull down with one finger, pull down with two to get right to that quick toggle, or just switch through them. And then another thing, obviously, with uh, the latest Jelly Bean is the expandable notification. So as you pull down, here I have a screenshot I've taken, and uh, the, you know, obviously it's a little expanded here, so you can push and hold. Oops. If you'd like, you know, you can go ahead and pinch that to close, um, to close notifications, and then you can push and hold and open it with one finger. That's actually not new with Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean. It's new with Jelly Bean in general. But um, and then obviously, you know, all the the notification pull downs are a little more detailed. You get the picture here. I just installed Snapseed, and you can quickly, you know, swipe that away. And then obviously here the share feature, right in notifications, you can quickly share. Um, right from you know your notifications, same thing applies for uh, text messages, you know, um, you, you know, calls. The calendar's been updated to take advantage of the expandable notifications, where you can reply and snooze and update everything right in the uh, the calendar. So there's a lot of things. That expandable notifications really helps improve. You know, makes everything much easier. Then another thing here. Let's see is the gesture-based keyboard. I don't want you to see all my messages, so let me get into a new one. So go to a new text message here. I won't be able to see this very well on screen, but go ahead and say, you know, hello, or write whoever I'm writing to. And then when you go to write your new message here, the gesture-based keyboard, kind of like Swipe and Swift Key Flow and all that other stuff, Google has their own now. And it actually works pretty great. This is the typing experience on Android. Got most of it right. I don't know if you can see that very well on screen, but as you swipe or flow or whatever you want to call it here, glide, I think what Google went with across the screen, it will start to predict the word that's coming and you see the pop up there and then you can obviously just let go when it's on its way. So you start to write tomorrow and I messed that one up. but. 
as usual, the suggestions up top will help you uh, come up with those suggestions. So we have the the gesture based typing, we have the photosphere, we have the Google Now, we have the Google Now from here as well. We have those, it's all the new cards and features. Everything about Android 4.2.1, a jelly bean is available now with the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, not officially. This is through Sanj Mod and other custom ROMs. But hopefully one day eventually in the future Verizon will update. But for now, get it, root that phone, and give it a try. This is just a quick video to uh, show you it all um, works extremely smooth, as you can tell. So it just hit nightly builds today, um, but obviously it's running pretty great already. So give it a try, guys. Thanks for watching.